back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something that's been requested for me since basically I started my journaling account which is my stationery collection. I'm going to show you guys everything that I own, the things that I use the most, and where or how I organize everything. Um, quick disclaimer, I do buy the vast majority of my stationery um, that I've collected for the past two years from other countries. So I got it mostly from Korea, Japan, Vietnam, and Hong Kong. So I don't remember where I got a lot of these items from and I didn't buy them online so I can't link it. I got them in physical stores when I was abroad on vacation. So I'll try to list down like the shops that I buy most of my stuff from but um, yeah I do get most of my things in person in store and when I'm on vacation. <laughs> so I know that's not super helpful in knowing where I get all of my stuff but that's the best I can do. Um, I can try to suggest some of the stores that I went to when I was abroad um, and hopefully that will help you guys too and then I'll try to link some of the Instagram shops that I buy my stickers from. So without further ado let's check out my collection. Starting in this corner, you guys are going to see all of my journals that I have. The to-do list I got from Haru Stationery Store when I was in Vietnam in Ho Chi Minh City. This also I got from the same place. It's an A5 six ring binder with um, grid paper on the inside. So that I really love and I've been using that recently. Here are all of my Midori journals, an A6, B6, and A5. A planner that I got from Target. Um, this is the 2020 planner that I'm going to be using. And then right behind it is my Mossery Co. Planner from 2019 that has my name on it. And these are just the ones that I reach for the most often. These are all of my journals and my little Koyo one that I use as a diary. And all of these things, um, all these journals I bought off Amazon. And the actual covers I bought when I was in Japan. So I'm not sure where you can get them for a good value in the US or online, but I will try my best to find out and link it below if I can find anything. The desk lamp here I got from Ikea, I want to say, or maybe Target, I can't remember. <laughs> and my Google Home I got last year during Black Friday, it was like $20 at the time, I think. And that's everything that I have in this corner for all of my main journal and planner items. Over here I have all of my Prismacolor color pencils. I used to use these a lot more often in my journal, I haven't been using them recently. Not for any particular reason, but I kind of forget that I own them. <laughs> and I have three of my most used washi tapes up here. Um, I got the dispensers from Muji. And these washi tapes are um, empty washi tapes. Here are all of my Tombow dual brush pens. I have multiple packs. I think the portrait pack, the pastel pack, and then one other pack, I can't remember. The rest of my Tombows and some Ecoline brush pens that I own. I love these, but they are a lot fatter of a tip than the Tombos, so if you like the thinner tip of the Tombos, I don't suggest the Ecoline for you, if that's something to think about. Here I have all of my mild liners and some Command poster strips. I have all the packs of the mild liners, all four. And then down here, miscellaneous stuff, so I have like my black Pentel um, sign pens, my Muji pens in black and all the other colors, my white pens, silver pens my scissors, and my Tombow double-sided tape. This drawer <laughs> has a lot of miscellaneous items. Um, I have just random stickers like in bags here that are unlabeled or just like hanging around. It's just a bunch of random stickers that I have and I don't really, these are from Hana Vibara. You guys have probably seen me talk about that before. This is art by Angie. So these are just like a bunch of random stickers and post-its that I have. Back here are stamps, um, a bunch more random stickers, like all of my stickers are in this binder. I have a whole bag of just stickers over here. I have um, fan site goods here, so like these stickers were sent to me um, when I ordered a Momo slogan on Twitter, so all of these came with that. This came from Dohyun's birthday event, and then I got... This was sent to me by Hannah, the loveliest at Yem Sewell on Insta. Her store is underscore paper hands, and she has these really lovely handmade items. And these are just a bunch of like random K-pop stickers that I have, etc., etc. Some extra notebooks, notebooks, and then obviously you guys see my Nintendo DS in my games. <laughs> and over here, these two boxes actually have extra stationery, and I can open them up really quick. 
So this Magritte box, actually, um, if you guys have heard of the New House chocolate brand, I got this when I was in Belgium because they have a really big Magritte museum there. And I got this with my family. I ate all the chocolate and then I, I use it to hold my stationery. So I have these memo pads, a bunch. Um, these are from Artbox in Korea. And then I got this in Japan. Um, a bunch more things, like just stuff from Daiso, Muji, the BT21 store, you guys see my Koya, my cookie, and my Mong post-it notes. I have a bunch of stuff that's just random. These are from Chicago. Um, I got those, I think, from the Museum of Modern Art in Chicago. Uh, I can't really remember. I have just a bunch of sticky notes and memo pads in here. Um, these are the ones that I don't typically reach for as often, hence why they're in this box. But I do use them occasionally, so I just keep them in here for now. So if you guys have um, seen this video, my stationery haul, I think from February of this year, I actually unboxed a bunch of stuff from In The Mood For. Um, I absolutely love everything that me makes. It's so pretty. And this is the self-care kit, I think it is. And it comes with a bunch of stickers, some memo pads, and these don't come with it. I just put the pens in the box for storage purposes, but they come with these really gorgeous stamps that I love. I haven't had the chance to use them yet because my ink pad ran out of ink and I've just been super lazy to purchase new ones, but I love absolutely everything that I've ever purchased from In The Mood For and I highly suggest if you guys want to support um, small businesses and like small creators, definitely please check out In The Mood For and Paper Hands. I'll link them down below. I have never been disappointed by the quality or by like the customer service and I totally support small businesses making these gorgeous little stationary items. I'm a huge fan, so yeah, definitely not sponsored, but I just love the items, so check it out. Now in this drawer, I have all of my most used stationary items. This is um, just a terabyte hard drive I used to keep my um, YouTube videos on, crayons, etc. This is a refill for my Tombow glue tape. These are extra Muji gel pens. These are my mild liner brush pens that Chloe at Keynotes bought for me when she was in Japan. I'm super grateful. These are super cute and I like them a lot. I love the colors of the mild liners. My stapler, hole puncher, some wide out erasers, clothes pins, basic stuff as you guys can see, just sharpeners and then glue sticks. These are my more commonly used memo pads. I love the really um, kitschy ones like the ones that are a little bit almost like tacky but I love them I think they're so cute and I have this little peach one that I just recently bought in Vietnam a ton of these I just recently bought in Vietnam and I'm like obsessed with them um some washi tape a bunch more of my washi tape I got all of these when I was in Vietnam these came with the BTS season's greetings some of these I, I really <laughs> don't remember where I got most of these from these are all Muji and then back here these are all from in the mood for which i had just talked about previously she also sells washi tape and they're super pretty this is my favorite one i use this one often and i like this one a lot even though i don't typically use it because the colors are a little bit different from what i normally use in spreads but i also really like this one <laughs> these two are my favorites back here is a stamp set that i recently got in vietnam um like a couple weeks ago and then this is also a stamp set i got in vietnam Back here is my Polaroid zip printer, which you guys have probably seen before. It just prints photos. I haven't used that recently, so it's all the way shoved back there. I just have um, my light strings, some top loaders for trading PCs, and that's pretty much everything that's in this drawer. My last couple stationary items are a little bit random. It's just paper scraps that I tear up to use in my journal. This is some tracing paper or vellum paper I got from Michael's, which is my local craft store. You guys can probably find it there too. It is typically a little bit more expensive, like six to seven dollars was how much I paid for a packet of these. So if you can find it cheaper, definitely search elsewhere. But for me, I got it at my local craft store. This is craft paper. I got this from a big notebook in Daiso. So I only paid $1.50 for like a whole stack of craft paper. So that was really good. And this is just some lined paper I pulled from a notebook I don't use anymore. And I just keep like one scrap of each um, right by my desk to use whenever I journal. And that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that this kind of answered some of your questions or satiated your curiosity about what my stationary collection looks like. Um, it is a lot, but I do believe a lot less than I had before because I did give away and sell a lot of the things that I owned but I never used. Um, 
before I went to Vietnam, I had stopped buying stationery for a long time and then I just went a little bit crazy when I got over there. But I think this is now a lot of stuff that I use often. So none of it's really going to waste and I feel good about that. And I'm probably not gonna be buying any more stationery. At least not too much, nothing like besides the ink pad that I need um, for a while until I use up some of these items that you guys have seen. I have so many stickers and so much washi tape. But yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.